Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Hi, welcome to Dave and Jen Ignite. So glad you're here today. Um, we're going to add verse 4 to Psalm 23. We've memorized verses 1 through 3. Um, I'll put a link uh, to that video up here. And uh, you can click on that if you haven't been there yet. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. If you're like me, you memorized this verse uh, in the King James Version many years ago. Or perhaps you're newer in your walk and uh, you're getting renewed maybe and you never did do that. So... This is a little different wording, so it might take some of you a little extra to just adjust um, verses 1 through 3 more than verse 4 here. Verse 4, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. If you're getting some benefits, some value from these videos, I would ask that you please click like, subscribe, yes, even ring the bell uh, so that you can get notifications when a new video comes out. We'll be doing the rest of Psalm 23 very soon. Um, and let's just keep going together, shall we? Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Again, perhaps you're used to a different translation. Uh, this is the NIV. Whatever you memorize, just be consistent. Uh, you may, if you're into some quizzing things, you may be required to memorize in a particular translation or version. Obviously, feel free to do that. And some of you might be saying, oh man, I memorize you know, 10, 15 verses a week. Yes, you go. Um, praise the Lord. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Question for you today. What's the darkest valley you've walked through? Uh, King James says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But what's your darkest valley? Maybe it's the dark valley of an addiction and you're coming out of that. Maybe it's the dark valley of a relationship that was not, a, not helpful, not appropriate, even harmful, damaging, dangerous to be in. Um, I will say to you, as some of you are aware, certainly my darkest valley has been the death of Jen. And that is a deep, dark valley. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Whatever your dark valley is, and I hope that you'll comment below, say what that dark valley is. Uh, whatever your dark valley is, I just want to encourage you to seek God's strength, seek his help, seek his comfort as you go through the valley. And receive it. Don't fight it. Don't, you know, don't say you don't need it. We do need it. We need God's comfort. We need his help as we walk through these valleys. And praise God, he gives it. He wants to give it. Even better. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Let it happen. Seek it. Seek God's comfort. Receive it when he's ready to give it to you. Uh, don't fight it. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. 
Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Receive it, my friends. God is there ready to comfort. So, perhaps you've been in that dark valley. Please comment below. How did God speak to you? How did he comfort you? What did he say to you through his word, through his spirit? How did you receive that comfort? It may be something as simple as God letting you sleep when it's been difficult for you to sleep. It may be the comfort of knowing that the relationship that you thought was so horrible isn't really that bad and is mendable. How did God comfort you? Just in faith. Write that in the comments below as well. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That rod and staff were tools to a shepherd. And obviously, you've seen pictures perhaps of a shepherd reaching down with the, the crook of that shepherd's hook and pulling that, that lamb up off that edge that he's stepped off into, into a, a ledge that's so far down it can't get back up. Um, the other end can be used to guide the sheep where they need to go. Uh, a rod can be used to, to fight off uh, wild animals, as King David did when he was just a shepherd boy, fighting off the bear and the lion. God is ready to comfort us. God is ready to protect us. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Once again, if you're getting benefit from these, I would ask that you subscribe. Thank you so much. So many of you have been subscribing, and I appreciate that tremendously. Uh, for those of you who haven't, I just want to encourage you to do so. Last time, Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. Until we meet again, whatever your dark valley may be, I pray that God indeed will comfort you. So, God bless you. May it be so.